hi guys welcome to my channel if it's your first time here my name is joan today we're going to crochet this three in one crochet top and this video is in collaboration with katia yarns all the way from spain they sent me some yarns to try out with some of my project and today i'm going to use their cotton stretch yarn to make this top so leave a comment down below let me know which among these three look you prefer and yeah let's get straight into the video to begin make a slip knot it's important for you to leave a long tail so that it's going to help you weave in your ends and you're going to make a number of chain stitches equivalent to the circumference of your shoulder. I have 205 chain stitches but you could be having more or less depending on the type of yarn and the hook size you're using. So after having your chain stitches uh, it's important that you put it on a tape measure and stretch it out. So I'm working with a measurement of 40, 41 chain stitches. So this is my off shoulder size. Next step is form a circle by making a slip stitch in the first chain that you made. To close it up, make sure your work is not twisted. So let's start on our first round. So you're going to chain two and the chain two count as your first double crochet. And then you're going to make double crochet in each and every stitch all around. I'm going to meet you at the end of the row. To complete the circle, make a slip stitch in the first double crochet, which happens to be your first, the chain two uh, stitches that you made, and then chain two. The next step is you're going to divide your work into four corners. I've already divided mine. So this chain two here is going to mark my first corner. I have another one over here, another one here, and another one over here. So this small space over here is going to rest on one of your off shoulder, though this is not the circumference of your arm, just the area where it's the outer part of your arm. Same to this other side, the outer part of your arm for the off shoulder. And then this measurement here, this is the front part. And this from this corner to this corner, this is the back part. So the front and the back is the same. And for the arm measurement, I left 35 chains, uh, 35 double crochets. And if I measure it, it's 6 inches without stretching. But if I stretch it, it can go up to 7 inches. Same to the other side. Make sure that your stitches are of the same. And then also the front part, I have left... It's around 10 inches, but definitely if I stretch it out because my work is stretchy, it can go up to 13 inches. So these are my measurements. Just go ahead and apply your measurements. So this is our first corner. You're going to turn your work after chaining two and the chain two count as your first double crochet. So at this point, we're going to make a double crochet, chain one and a double crochet in the same stitch. So now you're going to add chain one to act as a space and then in the same stitch, uh, please be keen on where I'm making my stitch, in the same stitch, actually in the same double crochet stitch, you're going to add another double crochet. So in one double crochet, you have a double crochet, chain one and another double crochet to form an increase and then you're going to go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch i'm going to meet you at the next corner when you get in the next corner you're going to make a uh, one double crochet chain one and then one double crochet in the same stitch so this is forming an addition then you're going to go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch When you get to the next corner, you form an increase by making 
one double crochet chain one one double crochet in the same stitch and then double crochet in each and every stitch repeat this for the rest of the corners i'm going to meet you at the starting point so i'm almost at the end of this round and sometimes you might end up losing a stitch if you're not careful and to do that um, compare the down part and the upper part so for this double crochet we have it on top here this double crochet we have it here so this is our last double crochet see where the stitch is so you might end up missing it or so to avoid that just keep on checking the lower and the upper part so make your final double crochet here and then this is our starting point you're going to make a slip stitch in this first double crochet to join like that to start off the next round i want you to make a slip stitch in the chain one space like that and then chain chain three instead of two even the previous one we could have chained three and then turn your work the chain three counts as your first double crochet so now you have a double crochet which is this one over here the first double crochet you're going to work in it and then you're going to make a double crochet in each and every stitch i'm going to meet you at the first corner i'm at the corner and inside the chain one space you're going to make one double crochet chain one one double crochet in the same space so this is going to increase your work and then now you're going to go ahead and make one double crochet in each and every stitch and then when you get at the corner you're going to repeat what you've done over here and then i'm going to meet you at the starting point i'm winding up on this round so now i am in this uh, chain one space so you're just going to make one double crochet in that chain one space and then chain one and close it up the reason why you're making one double crochet it's because at the starting point we already made our first double crochet here so there's supposed to be two double crochet with one chain space so now you're going to make a slip stitch and the slip stitch we're making uh ignore this first double crochet actually we're making it in the first double crochet but you're just going to make it in this second one so that it can be seamless and close it up okay to start off the next row you're going to chain one and turn and then make a slip stitch in this chain one space like that and then you're going to start off the row the round by making chain three which counts as your first double crochet we've already made it inside this chain one space now you're going to go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch and then when you get at the corner inside the chain one space you're going to make one double crochet chain one one double crochet repeat for the rest and then i'm going to meet you at the starting point at the end of the round so i have two stitches left also remember keep on checking with the down parts this belongs to this this belongs to this so also here we have another double crochet before you get inside the chain one space like that and so now get inside the chain one space and make one double crochet you already have the second double crochet over here so you're just going to chain one and make a slip stitch to join like that to start off the next round you're going to chain one turn and then make a slip stitch inside that mm -hmm. chain one space chain three to count as your first double crochet mm -hmm. and then proceed with the pattern so you're going to repeat this over and over again until you have your desired arm length so i'm going to meet you once i have mine and show you what to do next so now i have my desired arm length which is this one over here it's four inches and this is how the other side looks like this is the front part while this is the back part okay so the next thing we're going to do is to close up this 
and this corner over here so that we can start working on the down part and before you do that i'm going to show you how to make sure that your arm hole will fit your arm okay so the next step is to create the armhole over here and before you do that it's important for you to know your armhole measurements so first of all measure this up to here so that you can know how much more you're going to add on to this okay and to do that you are going to chain one turn your work around keep on turning your work so that you can have a consistent pattern and then slip stitch into that chain space chain two or three depending on how you want your double crochet to be okay so after this double crochet that you've created you're going to make a number of chain stitches i'm going to chain 15 So your number of chains could be more or less depending on number of inches you're supposed to add. Then after making your chain uh, stitches inside the chain one space of this corner, you're going to make a double crochet. And then you're going to go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch. I'm going to meet you at this other corner. When you get to the center of the other arm, you're going to make your number of chain stitches. Make sure the number of chains is equivalent to the ones you made on this other side. And then join it together by making a double crochet inside the chain one space. And then you're going to go ahead and make double crochet in each and every stitch. I'm going to meet you at the end. When you get to the starting point, you're going to make a slip stitch in the third chain and then close it up like that. To start off the next row, chain three. And before you do that, please make sure that the circumference of... So what you have here, it actually fits your fuller bust, okay? What you have here actually fits your fuller bust and also confirm that the arm all that you've left is going to fit your, your arm, okay? So now, if everything is okay, then proceed with the pattern. So after chaining three, you're going to turn your work and you continue making double crochet in each and every stitch. When you get to the chain stitches, you're going to make a double crochet in each and every stitch. And then you're going to cross over onto this other side. Keep on making double crochets. I'm going to meet you at the starting point. To start off the next round, chain three, turn your work. This chain three counts as your first double crochet. And then double crochet in each and every stitch. And then when you get at the starting point, you're going to make a slip stitch and continue building up the height of this top. So just in case you find that the circumference that you have here is quite big for you, there's a way that you can decrease that. So probably you can choose to make maybe 10 double crochets and in the 11th one, you make a reduction like that. And then again, you make 10 double crochets and then in the 11th one, make a reduction. And also after making a row of reduction, in the next row, you're going to make just plain rows of double crochets. So you're going to repeat that until you feel that you have the circumference of your fuller bust. Then go ahead and increase the height of your top and that's all. So now I have my desired height, it's 13 inches. So the next thing we're going to do is to decorate the upper part and then fix the string on the middle. To make the decorations on the upper part, uh, attach a yarn on one side of your top and then make three double crochet in the same stitch, in the same space. Three and then skip the next uh, space which is this and in the next one make a single crochet 
and then make another single crochet in the next space and then skip the next space and in the following one make three more double crochets in the same space that's one two and uh, three and then skip the next space and in the following one make a single crochet in the following space again a single crochet skip the next space and in the following one three double crochets so you're going to repeat this pattern all around the shoulder and then once you're done you're going to make a slip stitch at the starting point so to fix the string you're going to make a longer chain and then mark your uh, center point and then you're just going to align this string or rather to fix it in a straight line just to watch what i'm doing in the video so now you can adjust this string by pulling it like that to create the ruffles you can go ahead also and fix the same on the side way to give you another look so thank you so much for watching if you loved the tutorial kindly leave a comment down below subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up and i'm going to see you in my next tutorial until next time goodbye